This video is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most epic moment in every Star Wars movie. For this list, we're going over the most standout awesome scenes from each live action film in the franchise. To be clear, we won't be ranking them in comparison to each other, we're just listing them from most recent to oldest. If there's an amazing Star Wars moment you think deserves a mention, let us know by going to the comments at light speed. and Kylo Ren's final duel, Star Wars Episode IX, The Rise of Skywalker. Rey and Kylo Ren have a complicated rivalry throughout the sequel trilogy that comes to a head with this fight. While investigating the ruins of the second Death Star, the two come to blows over a Sith Wayfinder. Is with me. No! Their duel takes them from the wreckage of the Emperor's throne room to the wave-wracked debris outside. Reaching out to her son, Leia manages to distract the former Ben Solo long enough for Rey to wound him. Rey heals him and departs. While the rain-swept fight itself is excellent on its own, it also marks a turning point for Kylo Ren's character that helped turn him back to the light. I don't want to have to do it, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. The Train Job, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Although Solo isn't the most popular Star Wars outing, it still had some standout moments. I hope you're still paying attention because now I'm going to tell you the most important. As much as we loved seeing Han shoot back at first, the best scene in the movie is definitely the train robbery. Han and Chewie join Beckett and his crew in lifting valuable fuel from a train transport. Like any good heist, the plan, as well as the train, goes off the rails. Yeah, looks worse than it is. Just gotta patch it up. Uh, maybe rest my eyes for a minute. As the group struggles to fend off rival thieves, several of Beckett's crew perish. It's an incredibly thrilling sequence. Honestly, we're surprised it took so long for the franchise to get a big screen train heist scene. <laughs> Kylo Ren and Rey versus the Praetorian Guard, Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi. Do not get us wrong, there were epic moments in Luke's last stand, but for many fans, the way he meets his end is as controversial as the rest of the movie. However, most fans can agree that one fight scene is awesome. After striking Supreme Leader Snoke down, Kylo Ren teams up with Rey to fight Snoke's Praetorian guards. The action is intense, contains a lot of variety in the choreography, and has plenty of long takes to show it off. When combined with the room literally burning down around them, this battle is easily The Last Jedi's most epic moment. <laughs> Vader's Hallway Rampage, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Desperate to get away with the plans to the Death Star, a group of rebel soldiers hands them off to one another as the doors in the hallway fail. Tragically, they committed a classic blunder. They got into an enclosed space with a Skywalker. Darth Vader ignites his lightsaber and proceeds to tear through them faster than a crate dragon through womp rats. is so epic because longtime fans knew in their hearts how tough and terrifying Darth Vader could be. But seeing is believing, and we at last got to see Vader as powerful as we'd all imagined. 
Rey and Finn versus Kylo Ren. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. We're not done yet. Ray and Finn gave audiences an epic scene when they escaped from Jakku in the Millennium Falcon, but their battle against Kylo Ren is even better. In the snowy forest outside Starkiller Base, Ray gets knocked out by Kylo Ren. Finn tries to defend her using Luke and Anakin's old lightsaber. Come get it! While he puts up a valiant effort, Ren defeats him. However, Rey regains consciousness and steps up to fight him with the Force and the lightsaber. It's a great fight with a haunting atmosphere that really cements the rivalry between Kylo Ren and Rey. <laughs> Obi-Wan vs. Anakin – Star Wars Episode 3 – Revenge of the Sith I will do what I must. You will try. In terms of narrative twists, Revenge of the Sith is arguably the most pivotal film in the Skywalker saga. As profound as events like Order 66 are, the biggest moment is easily the duel between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Master confronts his former Padawan on the fiery world of Mustafar. After their battle rages across a crumbling building and a magma river, the fight culminates in Obi-Wan's victory and Anakin's painful defeat. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. This duel serves as a great climax to the prequel trilogy. Not only does it feature the breakdown of the duo's friendship, it's also the final downfall of Anakin Skywalker before his rebirth as Darth Vader. Jedi Arena Battle – Star Wars Episode 2 – Attack of the Clones Although Episode 2 gets some flack for its relatively slow pace, it definitely picks up once the heroes reach Geonosis captured. Anakin and Padme are brought into the Petronaki arena to be executed. Reunited with Obi-Wan, they manage to break free and fight back. But it's the Jedi coming to the rescue that really steals the show. Led by Mace Windu, the Jedi team bravely battles against superior numbers. Things look grim until Yoda arrives with the newly employed clone army. It's a moment that gets your heart pumping and then has you cheering for the good guys. Duel of the Fates, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. It's hard to resist the thrill of the pod racing scene in The Phantom Menace, but it doesn't hold a candle to the grandeur that is Duel of the Fates. The two-on-one duel that pits Darth Maul against Obi-Wan Kenobi and his master Qui-Gon Jinn holds nothing back. The fight is elaborately choreographed, the music is epic, and the imagery surrounding the combatants is visually stunning. The dramatic tension of the fight reaches new heights when Darth Maul strikes Qui-Gon down. <laughs> this scene is easily the peak of Episode 1 and one of the best duels in the Star Wars franchise. Darth Vader saves Luke – Star Wars Episode 6 – Return of the Jedi the climactic duel between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker is interrupted when Luke decides to stop fighting. Unfortunately, this leaves him open to a brutal lightning attack from Emperor Palpatine. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. Vader is then faced with a choice – let his master continue to harm his son or rise against the Emperor. He chooses the latter and throws Palpatine from a great height. Vader's heroic
heroic choice comes at the cost of his own life. Before he perishes, he finally takes off the mask. It's a fantastic conclusion to both the movie and Anakin Skywalker's journey across six films. Here, I've got to save you. You already have. Look. I am your father. Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> There's certainly something epic about Yoda's do or do not speech, but when it comes to Empire, there was really only one choice. <laughs> Luke's first fight with Vader is an intense bout that results in the loss of his hand. However, the most devastating blow comes when the young Jedi learns that Darth Vader is his father. If only you killed him. No. I. I'm your father. No. No. It's not true. It's one of the most famous twists and movie lines of all time, even if a lot of people misquote it. This revelation is arguably the most iconic moment in all of Star Wars. Not that we're ranking these, of course. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Blowing up the Death Star, Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. The first Star Wars film has a lot of remarkable moments. As impactful as the confrontation between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader was, though, one scene blows the rest out of the water. Or space, in this case. When Luke and the other ragtag fighters of the Rebel fleet charge at the Death Star, they incur major losses. At the crucial moment, as Luke is aiming for the battle station's weak point, Obi-Wan's spirit persuades Luke to put his trust in the Force. Use the Force, Luke. Luke, trust me. Han Solo returns at the last minute to clear the way. Luke's one-in-a-million shot causes the Death Star to explode and allows the heroes to claim victory. It is classic Star Wars. This video is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.